Let's do two back to back because they're somewhat related. This one was okay. sent in by Dill Bob. <laughs> good, good name. No, Dill Bob is Dill Bob submitted an answer last uh, last week. So don't make okay. fun of him because he's a big big fan of the show and he's a big okay. supporter of the show. And, and he's I'm, bad at picking names. He's bad at picking names. <laughs> God love him. Uh, uh, it's from uh, Yahoo Answers user I am a trolley. Who says how? F- I'm going to call bullshit right now. <laughs> uh, his Doubt his it. How are profile you his profile image is is the shopping cart, which I guess do people call those trolleys? And where is Probably this? Oh, this British is from Yahoo something. Canada. Whoa, oh. whoa! Uh, they ask how far could Jesus give me a piggyback before tiring? <laughs> uh, now keep in mind, he weighs 75 to 80 kilos, and he hasn't uh-huh. weighed himself in a while. Um, okay. Do we have any idea what that conversion is? Because that could be like 700 pounds. What we don't have is information about Jesus' upper body strength. <laughs> yeah. Jesus we know has, his calves are banging. I right. know he's got to be totally ripped. Um, I imagine that working as a carpenter really blasts your core, and it gets yeah. your delts and your buys just banging. Just banging just really and bustling banging. Out, of your, out of your arm skin. Yeah. Um, uh, he used to, you know, he used to turn water into protein powder all the time. <laughs> sure. um, I, I get why this guy's concerned, though, because there, where there's one pair of footsteps, that is where he's going to carry you. So you want to know, you want to know exactly how long of a trip you've got. Um, right. That's that's happens. where you were getting, you know, an old piggyback ride and some cotton candy. And you know, the problem is Jesus will never tell you if he's tired of carrying you. That's yeah. the thing. Because you could ask him all day because he's not going to admit to it. He'll just kind of pass out. Like, Jesus, you He'll just come- turn the other cheek. Um, this question was sent in by Jay. Thank you, Jay. It's by Yahoo Answers user Ask a Mexican, who asks... Um, a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> who asks... Why does Jesus only visits when my camera is out of batteries? <laughs> See, that this sounds like a guy who has a lot of stories that a lot of people aren't buying. <laughs> um, one answerer, uh, Toke Lover, yeah, uh, he replied, he must be allergic to batteries. That's a pretty good theory, I guess. Um, well, that's, uh, that's why he hasn't been around for a while. <laughs> yeah. I never... <laughs> I just love that it's not just that Jesus visited once when his Jesus just keeps coming back when I say, "Why don't you have batteries on hand?" Oh, Jesus, it's so great to get the Nikon. Get the Nikon. It's uh, out of ah, uh, son of a ah. Uh, I actually like to think that Jesus knows when it's out of batteries and he Jesus shows up does, that moment Jesus and goes, "Hey everybody," and then poofs out. You think Jesus, you know, only stops by at a random intervals? No, he waits until you're out of batteries, and then he comes to visit you. I actually have used that for a system to know when I need to go buy batteries. <laughs> Jesus, what's up? Oh, hey, Jesus, that time again? All right. I got to get those rechargeables. God. Your dad, damn it. I should have been ready. You got me again, Jesus. Got me again, Jesus. 